welcome you back to Black Side tonight. I want to talk to you about a black head coach who threw away $90 million over a phone call. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. This black head coach that many of you probably was thinking about was Deion Sanders of Colorado, but it's not him. It's Mel Tucker of Michigan State University. This man, 51 years old, received a $90 million deal to coach the Michigan State Spartans football team. This means he would have left his, his family generational wealth. But Mel Tucker could not control himself. He had a fascination with this violent survivor, Brenda Tracy. He invited her to speak to the team, made her an honorary captain at their spring football game, and he continued on. But then eventually he got out of control. He had a phone call with Miss Tracy and he began to pleasure himself. And you know with the violent survivor, you don't know how traumatic that was to her. She decides to go to Michigan State University under Title IX and file charges against Mel Tucker. And now Mel Tucker has been suspended, but you can also say he's been fired. He's going to have a disciplinary hearing October 5th and 6th, but you know what that's going to be about. Michigan State knows that they're going to be held accountable for his actions. He said he did it, but he, you know how they always say this was done together, both of them. They had phone sex, but she said she did not want Mel Tucker to do that. Mel Tucker has to be the most dumbest simp I have ever seen in my life. This man makes black men look so stupid. You telling me you get to the pinnacle of your profession and you throw it all away because of your fascination with Miss Brenda Tracy that you are willing to get on a phone like a teenager. Well, adults do it too. And do what you did. And expect this woman to let this moment pass by. Now, you know she has a lot of anger towards men. And you know she's a violent survivor. You know that she's going to go to the proper authorities and eventually turn you in in what she did. Now, she's set to gain financially off of what you did to Michigan State because you know they are going to settle with Miss Tracy because plenty of people know her in the state of Michigan and outside the area. But also, what they're going to do is void your contract. They're going to void your contract because of what's in the contract and probably has a morals clause. And you're probably going to get nothing when you get fired. Now, if Mel Tucker was just a bad head coach and he had that $90 million contract, he would have got a buyout. But there is going to be no buyout. He has thrown what we would call generational wealth, like I said. He has thrown it away for his family. Millions of dollars. And you know what? Sometimes you wish you had an opportunity to throw certain people out your family. Well, Mel Tucker would be that person. Yes, he made a mistake. He admitted to the mistake. He said she wanted it too. But that's not going to that's not how the public is going to see it. Because she's a violent survivor. They see you as basically 
doing the same thing that other men were doing, but you just happened to do it over the phone. So how does he reconcile the situation? There is no way. There is no way. Nobody wants to see an accuser on a sideline. And you're not one of the greatest coaches of all time. You're a mediocre coach, basically at a basketball school, because Tom Izzo is the big coach at that university, won national championships. And now you have been sidelined. Your career has been sidelined. How many people are going to willing to hire you as a head coach? Maybe you can go to a black college. Maybe they'll give you an opportunity, but nobody's going to want to have a coach who is basically sexually harassing a female and lost his job. This is one of the most stupidest things I have ever seen a man do in his position. Now, I'm just not saying white men, black men, whatever. But his position as a black man on that campus, the highest paid person on that campus, possibly a little bit more higher than Izzo, that he gave that all up just to have a night of pleasure, a fantasy pleasure over Brenda Tracy. This is absolutely one of the dumbest damn things I have seen and now he has to pay the price I don't know if it was consensual with both of them or not but it doesn't matter he lost his job he lost the status he lost his money he lost his generational wealth he lost all that in that one video And that's sad, it's disgraceful, because when you get to a position like that, you're supposed to be there to be a role model to men. What you do in your private life, as long as it's consensual, it's none of my business. But now that this woman has came out, filed a complaint with the university, investigation is going on, you know what they're going to do to the black man. He comes out fifth and sixth. They're going to fire him. They're talking about getting five or six new people for the head coaching job, looking for five or six. You know you're done. You can't save your job. You're past tense. And this is what simps do. He messed it up for himself and his family. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. Hope you subscribe to this channel, smash the like button, but also share the video.